Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're looking at atheism and scholarship and just seeing how the scholarship of atheists and the scholarship that atheists use. So we'll look at one or two scholars that perhaps are not atheists but but that atheists use. And we're just looking at how weak and frail this scholarship is in reality when you get your teeth into it. And like I said, I um you know, a lot of what I'm saying is from primary source studies, primary source material. When I was talking to you on the other video about Dr. Price, I, you know, I'm speaking from experience. I've read ancient Greek hymns. I've read ancient Jewish documents like the Dead Sea Scrolls, etc. So I'm talking from a, someone who's read primary sources and telling you what, what is the case. But also secondary sources, like, for example, a lot of the things that I've said about Dawkins and Harris, uh, etc., have been said by John Lennox, professor of mathematics at Oxford, in Gunning for God. Uh, Richard Dawkins, um, that, sorry, not Richard Dawkins, um, Alistair McGrath, professor of Oxford in theology, uh, has said quite a lot in his books, The Dawkins Delusion, and um, he's written a couple of books on atheism. So, I'm talking to you from primary sources, reading ancient literature, reading the atheist books themselves, and listening to many atheist lectures of these scholars, but also from academics who commentated on them. Okay, and at the end of this series, I will put a list of debates and lectures and books that you can look to. Uh, I'll, I'll probably do that tomorrow. I haven't got the time for today. But I'll, at the end of the series tomorrow, I'll put you a list of sources that you can go to to study in depth uh, these these people and subjects. Okay. So we're looking at Lawrence Krauss today. Um, he's an eminent, eminent scientist who is um, a bit of an expert in physics and um, a very able uh, intellectual. Uh, but the problem that he has is the problem of a lot of, of what a lot of atheists do. Not all atheists, but a lot of atheists do. It's notoriously known um, uh, among many, many people that a lot of the leading light atheists are scientists and they dislike passionately philosophy this is widely known so much so that even atheists on YouTube who love philosophy get pretty upset and angry with the atheists who like science but don't like philosophy but there is a considerable amount of atheist scholarship that is anti-philosophy and, and this is a big big problem and it shows the intellectual naivety of the more scientifically minded atheist. And this can be seen with Lawrence Krauss. So, for example, he will say that actually there is nothing. Uh, when we say, when people say that God made, uh, that there is nothing, and that God made something out of nothing, actually this is not correct. Um, you know the Higgs boson research that's been done actually if we go into reality you know there's always something there you know if you go down to the minute particles there the, there is something there there's never nothing so people like Lawrence Krauss who come up with these kind of comments really show the bias that they're trying to prove or disprove that there is a God that's why the saying that so they're biased that there's nothing to do with science really it's just a bias but it's philosophically naive because anyone with a bit of philosophical nous knows that at the end of matter you come to the end all right that matter is not eternal <coughs> you come to the end of matter so if you come to the end of the matter, you come to nothing. <laughs> and 
there's, there's got to be an end of the line somewhere okay there's got to be an end of the line to matter even if you had nine nine dimensions in the universe they're still going to be coming to an end of the line with matter and so something cannot come from nothing unless God made something come from nothing but it cannot come from matter because matter comes to the end of the line now this is so simple so obvious but Krauss and the sophisticated scientists want to convince us all uh, which is absolutely crazy that there's always something there there always has been something there but that's just it's just a philosophical impossibility um, and the scientist and the atheist think they're sophisticated and and they'll argue and argue and argue and try to be sophisticated and clever and solve scientific but from a philosophical point of view it's a non-starter at the end of, at the end of matter is nothing and it's as simple as that and Krauss and these athe modern atheist skeptics are just philosophically naive and they will laugh at philosophers and think philosophers are not up to speed on the scientific developments but the philosophers uh, will think well you're just naive you're just naive and and that's the top and bottom of it with these modern uh, cosmologists like uh, Lawrence Krauss that they are naive let them talk about cosmology let them talk about physics whatever but when they start to pontificate theories that just don't make philosophical sense then it's time to take a back seat and rethink your position thank you